Hello. Welcome back. I hope you are enjoying my reactions to Interview with the Vampire. This is episode four titled The Ruthless Pursuit of Blood with All a Child's Demanding. Louis and Lestat teach their new fledgling, Claudia. <clears throat> I'm excited to meet Claudia. Now, I believe I said in the first video that I had a coworker from Spirit Halloween, actually, and she was a big Anne Rice fan. And she was hesitant to watch this show because they made Claudia a teenager. And Claudia is actually supposed to be a little girl, like how they did in the 94 movie. Kirsten Dunst was a little girl in that film. Here she's a teenager. And part of the tragedy of Claudia is that she mentally and emotionally grows up, but is trapped in the body of a child. You know, as a teenager, she could still technically be grown up, at least physically. And some may say, well, she still has a teenager's body. Yes, but even if she's mentally an adult, with a teenager's body, it could still be full grown. She could still have boobs. She could still have sexual urges, stuff like that. But as a child, she might still have the sexual urges as an adult. But of course, because she's going to be a little child, she would actually be able to get away with more shit because people would look at a child and think innocence. You know, they wouldn't necessarily see her as a threat. So it's, I wonder why they decided to make her a teenager. If anyone knows, let me know down in the comments. Um, but I'm excited to meet her and see how they play her. I may go back to that coworker later and say, Hey, you know, are you going to watch it? Cause as I said, she was a bit hesitant due to how they changed Claudia, which I don't blame her. You know, because if you're a big fan of the book and you know that Claudia is a child, then I could understand maybe being a bit hesitant. My husband said the same thing. You know, I comment to him I was going to be doing episode four today that I'm going to be meeting Claudia. And he was like, oh, the tragedy of Claudia. Because he knows, because I believe he has read the books. So, you know, he knows everything about Claudia and what happened with her. And obviously, of course, it's going to be indulged a bit for TV. Not everything is going to be accurate. But I am happy that you are here with me. I hope you will enjoy this reaction. I hope you have been enjoying the previous reactions to Interview with the Vampire. And if horror is your thing, be sure to check out my other horror videos. I've got Chucky. I've got my Spooktober series. By the time this goes up, uh, I will probably also be working on Crystal Lake if it's not already up. Um, and you know, there's some other stuff. There's also Midnight Mass. Be sure to check that out. Uh, and yeah, there's some other horror stuff that I have coming down. I'm trying not to do just horror, you know, even though I am a fan of horror, I'm trying not to do just that. You know, it's good to have a variety. Um, so, but if horror is your thing, then be sure to check out Chucky and Midnight Mass and my Spooktober series, and yeah, let's get started. The Ruthless Pursuit of Blood with All a Child's Demanding. I like how they do like a little title card with the title of the episode at the beginning. Goodbye. Huh. Goodbye. Cool shot of the sun. Can't tell you that either. <laughs> I haven't forgotten what a book is. This is this is a book. A book uh, book. Alright, look, uh, um uh, take care of it. Your doctor in New York was consulted and has given consent. You'll find a note from him in your electronic mailbox. <laughs> in your electronic Where's mailbox. Where's Louie? 
Mr. Dupont du Lac will be resting. But it probably makes everyone I'll just tell him to say put the keep away from the door. You know, it makes me wonder if Lestat really does care about Louis. I know he says he does. It makes you wonder if he really does because, like Daniel was saying, it's pretty much abuse. Even if it's not like physical abuse, it could be emotional and mental. And I thought, what a strange thing for an angel to do. <laughs> yeah, Louis didn't want to drink her blood, so I let Lestat do it. So Lestat actually changes her. Which I do believe is what happened in the 94 movie. Right away, I lost all that Burns are obviously gone now because she's healed in a way. Um, I do remember it's been forever. You know, now I kind of want to rewatch the 94 movie because it's been so long since I've seen it. Um, so I might do that. Uh, but if I do, I'll probably wait until I've finished season one before doing it. And then I can kind of compare. So at the time this is posted, if you are interested to know if I watched the movie, ask down in the comments. But in that movie, I believe Lestat, I'm not, I don't really remember why Lestat changed Claudia. If he had done it thinking about like a family or what, but I like how Lestat was like, you were ready to abandon our home. But like I said, that's the thing with Lestat. You know, Daniel commented about it being abuse, and Louis didn't really think it was abuse. My personal opinion is I think it was abuse, to be honest. You know, it may not have been like physical abuse, but emotional, psychological, mental. You know, he changed Louis without his permission. Just kind of like how they changed Claudia. And obviously Louis is going to go through shit. He's going to have a whole hell of a lot of issues stemming from that. And for Lestat, it's easy to take it in stride because he's been a vampire for so long. He has adjusted and come to terms with what he what he is. But obviously, yeah, you're going to have issues when you're first turn because you have to deal with bloodlust. You have to deal with the fact that you're not going to age and that you're going to watch your families die and all sorts of, all sorts of stuff. You know, there's hell, there's going to be more than, than just that, but you get what I mean. So now Claudia has become one of them. I like how she was just going to suck more on Lestat's blood he had to pull. That's an interesting question. If you're changing someone from human to vampire, could they drain you of your blood? Or would you have enough strength to pull away? Like he, that'd be a good question. Because could she end up becoming a vampire by draining him? Anyways, let's keep going. So this is my new house? If you want it to be, we can hear people's thoughts. What? Let's <laughs> try it. Prove it. What am I thinking now? 
Well, I can't. I'm a big. You wondered if nails be like that forever. And the answer is yes. Mm-hmm. It's a special trick only folks like us have. She seems like the nails good. and the teeth. Uncle S. Daddy. Daddy. So Lestat is her creator, but he's Uncle Les. So I'm supposed to kill him. Well, I like the hat. Oh, it's a cop hat, but still, I like the hat. You could have killed a cop. Will you pass this out? Ask you a question, young lady. And she's not answering you. I said, where are your parents? Claudia! No! Don't! <laughs> yeah, I have a stat did sire her, so. She's gone. She's <laughs> gone. They're having a conversation and she's already going. As of right now, she likes it. The sun comes up, we go down. That's never gonna change. I love that they actually wear pajamas, you know. They go back now. Never met a teenager before. That is true. That sounds funny in French. I mean, let's see if it's a good thing. Yep, there we go. We're still in the coffin. I was wondering if maybe he was going to go ahead and kill the coffin guy. I saw Lestat's look, and as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, shit. Obviously, Louis was on track with him. That's why he went and closed the curtains. I'm just like, ah, (laughs) jeez. Claudia's excited and likes it now, but she hasn't really come to any hard parts yet. You know, she's still learning. I like that we was asking about what 14-year-old questions their existence. And Louis says, she's a teenager. All they do is question their existence. It's like, yeah, that's pretty much true. Especially nowadays, you know, teenagers still question their existence, even in 2023. Um, But... Yeah, you know, she's kind of excited now, but is she going to be excited a week from now, a month from now? You know, she's 14, which again, I think in the book, isn't she supposed to be like 9 or 10? Smaller, definitely. Because again, she may be 14 here, and she's not completely grown, but... She still could pass for an adult if she had to. But at 14, you know, how would you like to be 200 years old trapped in a 14 year old's body? Could kind of say the same thing with something like Twilight, because, you know, you had like Edward Cullen who was turned, what, at 18? And by the time Twilight starts, he's like 109. So 109-year-old trapped in an 18-year-old's body. At least he's an adult at that point. You know, he's completely grown. So he doesn't have to worry about that. I think it would be worse to be 200 years old and trapped trapped in like a 10-year-old body. Never being able to escape that. Anyways. You ready to continue? Oh, I has got a few years on us. Sometimes old people don't like talking much about the past. Sometimes you gotta be careful where you dig, you understand? Mm-hmm. Well, you never let go? I used to. 
I used to pretend to. Can't say I do anymore. Uncle Les does sometimes. Then you. I like how she was like, we're a family. Yeah, I would. How is your reading coming along? Explains the show. For a killing machine, I kind of like her. <laughs> I interrupted. You were praying. Assuming yeah, you shouldn't interrupt them when they're, when they're praying. Assuming a mosey. What is that? That's not Arabic. What is it? Kazakh? Somewhere in the Crimea? Sometimes a dog can be a best friend. Huh. You have to knock us. <laughs> out, out, out. What? <laughs> so you wouldn't believe how time flies when there's people to eat and money to spend. 17th. It was given to me by a marquee who was paid by a month ten years after he gave it to me. Ah, look at all the dead people. Ah! How old are you again, Uncle Liz? Oh, my God, we made a horror movie. And all the easy times stopped. Uh-oh. Hello. Say it again. I like how they were laughing at the at Nosferatu and then you see Lestat there, you know, like making making fun of the movie. But she's talking about the easy time stopped, and I'm like, uh oh, what's happening? But that necklace that Lestat gave her, I'm like, shit, if you don't want it, I'll take it. I'll go for more bling, always. But I like how she's, like, journaling her life. And as I said, I'm guessing that we're not going to see her again. Now, it kind of makes you wonder what would happen in season two. Would Claudia come back? I mean, if she's dead dead, then we might see her in flashbacks. If she's not dead dead, there's a possibility that, yes, we will see her again. And it could also be that they are only going to do one season with her because the actress herself, of course, is going to mature. You know, that's, of course, the problem when you cast kids is they don't stay kids. They grow. And so, you know, depending on this actress, if they do want to put her in season two, they might have a little bit of a problem. So we'll see. My guess is season two, we're probably going to meet Armand. Because did did Armand create Lestat? Because if that's the case, then that would make sense in season two, that they would introduce him as Lestat's maker. Like I said, it's been so long. I remember it was like an all-star cast with the movie. Tom Cruise, Brad Pitt, Antonio Banderas, Stephen Ray... Christian Slater, or River Phoenix, because River Phoenix had the role. And Christian Slater took it because River Phoenix died. Let's keep going. I'm just worried about that. They can't still get injured. Sometimes Uncle Les and I have a lot in common. Well, here's a treat. I think you're ready. Jesus Christ! Can you stand there and watch a little girl? Where am I? Did you just crawl out of the swamp or something? Oh! <laughs> Here we go. Stag is her. Oh, yes. 
about don't tell Uncle Les or something, but yeah, she's starting to, you're starting to see the cracks because she's realizing with her clothes. So she was like, I'm 18. She looks good. I was thinking, man, see, sometimes I wish we still dressed like that. I always liked flappers. I always, my grandma was a flapper. She was born in 1910, so she got to grow up during the flapper years um but I, I always liked flappers and i always thought if i lived in that time yeah i'd like to wear the the flapper outfits and and everything um and th this would have been more of the 40s so it looked like she was wearing flapper stuff but that could have been more in the 40s and it's really too bad that Louise's sister has kind of turned because for a while she was kind of his cheerleader, you know, and the, when his brother died, she was kind of like, it's not Louis's fault, but really him destroying that door, I think is what did it. Now she's just kind of shitty to him. I'm surprised that they even told him that his mother had died, you know, given their animosity towards him. <laughs> It'd be fun back then, I think. I feel like I was born in the wrong decade. <laughs> I mean, look at that. I'd love to walk around with that. A hat, a coat. It's hard to play in dresses in the dark. <laughs> Girls are gonna die. <laughs> Probably sensed her sense that there's a predator. You look a little sick there. Sorry about my horse, man. They can't hit now. Nah. Look at the horse. Oh, it's not going to stop. What did we say about Skippy? <laughs> I'm a skipping. And he looked up. I knew he was going to look up. <laughs> What's wrong with running? She's walking him. Hmm. That looks good. I'll take a Sunday like that. You know what? No, I, I love it. Um, you live around here? I used to too. I remember there used to be a toy shop a few doors down by there. They used to keep stray cats and boxes for people to take. Oh, that shop must have closed down when you were a baby. Yeah. horse knows. Animals are smarter than humans. They can sense predators. There we go. I'm seeing the horse is like, what? Well, I hope someone gets to the horse. It's easy to get carried away when you're young and you love it. Please see the I'm more concerned about the horse. I hope the horse is okay. But, yeah, you know, she obviously made the mistake. And as Lestat says, you know, it happens when you're young and in love. You get carried away. Uh, and then she's like, you know, make him like me. And I was like, well, that would work if he was still alive. The difference is you were still alive. But if he's dead... You can't drink the blood. 
So Claudia's starting to see a downside, you know, because she said that the phone call when Louise's mother died, that that was kind of the end of the good times or the start of the end of the good times. And so now it's like, yeah, you know, she might have liked it at first. And there are some benefits, of course. But after a while, it's like, yeah, you start to see the downside of what you are, you know. Like she was saying about how they sleep during the day when the other kids are out playing and then there aren't a lot of kids out at night. Now, you know, some vampires don't sleep. Like in Twilight, they don't sleep. So they're around in the day, in the night. And I, it just seems kind of funny how they're technically dead, but yet they still have to sleep. I mean, yeah, if you're dead, you're technically sleeping, but it's like they're technically dead because their hearts don't beat. But they're alive because they're up and moving. They're the living dead uh, or the undead, you know, but yet they're still, they still have brain functions. They can still do physical things. So it's kind of funny that even though they're dead but not dead, that they still have to sleep. At least in the Anne Rice versions. <sighs> Let's get through the rest of this episode. Scattered. One in New Orleans, another in Paris. Bullshit. What does it matter? You have them now. That'd be nice and calm. Claudia, what is it? So that means I'm on the bad path. I'm doing it. Yeah, you can understand, of course, that she would change, you know, she, what did she say about being flat-chested or whatever, because, you know, she hasn't developed, you know, 350. And then she's talking, I'm like, why are you taking out on the diary? What the diary will do to you? Don't insult the diary. Uh, but she's talking about the age, you know, she could be 350 years old and still looking like this, this girl at 14, it's like, yeah, you know, you can understand, you know, again, it kind of makes me think of Twilight and how Rosalie was saying that, you know, they, they'll always be this frozen, you know, she never, she never got the choice of whether or not she wanted to be a vampire. Um, she wanted to get married and have children and grow old with them. And of course, she never got that opportunity. You know, she did find love with Emmett. But 
you know, she never will experience the, the joy of motherhood. And I use that in quotes because motherhood ain't not, is not a joy. Uh, and so Claudia is kind of experiencing that. Now, the difference is, of course, Rosalie was basically an adult at that point because she was 18, 19. Uh, Claudia, of course, is not. But, you know, at 14, it seems like at 14, she would have developed, at least. Because I think, isn't it like 13, 14, girls usually start wearing training bras? So, or sooner? So, I would think she would have at least developed a bit by 14. I mean, hell, by 14, I'd already had my period. So, you know, granted, of course, it's a different time, but it just seems like there would have been some development at that point. You know, it would make more sense that she wouldn't be developed if she was like 9 or 10 because puberty hasn't hit her yet. But by 14, it would have started because, you know, nature would have started taking its course. And some, of course, do develop late, but... Back then, it would have been more common for 13 or 14-year-olds to already start maybe having sex because they would have to marry early, etc., etc. So, but I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction to episode 4. If so, hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Hit that notification bell to be alerted of when episodes 5 through 7 will post. As I said, if you can, please check out some of my other videos, whether it be horror, drama, sci-fi, comedy, whatever trips your trigger. I like to think I have a bit of a variety in there. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. You can find me, of course, at Lazy Cat Reactions. And I know times are tough, but if you can, please support me on Buy Me a Coffee. The link is in the description. Even just $5 will help. You know, it will not only help feed my caffeine addiction, but it will also help go towards buying more equipment. I did recently buy a new ring light, but, you know, I'd like to be able to maybe get a few more so I can light this up a, a bit more um, and have other equipment so I can make better videos for you guys. And if you do, you will get a shout out in either a future video or a short. So there's a benefit to you to, to do it. Thanks to my editor, thank, you know, for all of her, let me start that again. <laughs> Thanks to my editor for all of her hard work. You can catch her link in the description. If you are looking for your own editor, be sure to reach out to her. She has been invaluable for all of my videos and I thank her so much for all of her help. I hope everyone is having a great day and a great week and great whatever month this is that this will post. You know, I'm filming this in the month of January and I'm not exactly sure when this is going to go up. I'm kind of leaning maybe towards October. So whenever this goes up, if you want to make a note in the comments about when you're seeing this, that'd be, that'd be fine. This might not go up in October, but I'm kind of leaning towards October as of filming today. But things could change. I hope you have been enjoying these reactions to Interview with the Vampire. I will have episode five done tomorrow. And then, at least the nice thing is with being done with episode four is I'm over halfway. So, you know, each time I get one done, it's like I feel a little better, a little closer to the end. And I'm definitely looking forward to season two. My guess is that that's when we 